Well, just when it seemed you were paying more for everything, get ready for a much bigger heating bill this winter. Sorry to be the bearer of that news. Consumer reporter John Matarese shows us some things that you can do to keep costs down so you don't waste your money. John. Well, Tanya, have you checked what you're paying for natural gas lately? Many tri-state families will be paying rates that are double what they paid last year, and that is going to mean some big winter bills. COVID Cannon just had her furnace serviced to prep for winter. They changed the filter and cleaned out the blower. Good move because every little bit could trim your Duke bill, according to furnace specialist David Lee. You need a furnace that's reliable, that's efficient, and you know, you want to have it operating correctly. If not, your heating bills are going to shoot through the roof. So schedule annual furnace maintenance. Also change your filter regularly, about every three months or so. If your filters are dirty, your coil will freeze up. But getting a furnace tune up and changing that air filter is just the first part of lowering your winter heating bill. There are a lot of other things you should be doing around the house. First, program your thermostat. You set it really two times in a day. Try 68 degrees while you're there, then seven to 10 degrees lower while you're asleep or away at work. You can save as much as $180 a year doing this. Then consider a whole house humidifier. When you bring some moisture um, into your home, it actually helps it feel a lot more comfortable. And seal up leaky doors and windows because major heat loss happens in those areas. One more obvious but cost-effective step, wear warm clothing at home. If you're worried about paying your bill on time, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana all have energy assistance programs. Check into it as soon as you realize you won't be able to pay your bill. And if it's the January bill that really concerns you, contact Duke and ask about even billing where you stretch out your payments over the first year. The entire year, you spread them all out. That way you don't waste your money. Tanya? All right, so you say hi. How high for December and January? Good question. The supplier charge is half of your gas bill. And Tanya, that's almost double a year ago. So figure that a $200 January bill last year might cost you almost $300 this year. Send me a Facebook message or email if you've already received a big bill this fall.